This is a particular blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, today I'm doing a drugstore beauty product video. You guys know I'm obsessed with drugstore beauty products and I love getting drugstore deals. I thought I would share with you some of my favorite drugstore beauty products. I think that anyone would like, literally. I don't think anyone would not like these. Let's get started. So we're going to start with hair care. Yay! Yay! The Batiste Dry Shampoo. Just can't talk about it. Good enough about it. Good stuff. I can't say enough good things about it. Wow. Literally I can't because I can't speak properly. <laughs> My favorite one at the moment is the tropical one and it smells like coconuts. That's why. I know it's not really the fall fragrance but I love it. They have so many different fragrances. I think they are like most of them smell very delicious. They're about six, five, six, seven dollars depending where you get them. It's not white. It just smells good. It really lasts so long and it's just the best. It's got to make sure when you use it if you're not like if you're not used to dry shampoo which at this day and age guys come on get with the program but you just gotta hold it about eight inches from your head or else it will be kind of white and like be create residue but i love this stuff i like live on this i have like so many bottles of this my last hair product is something i've talked about a couple of times on my channel but if you haven't watched the video i did about how to safely lighten your hair at home which i will link right here if you're interested in that but this is the product i used to do it is the revlon color silk luminista honey blonde hair dye the regular revlon color silk um hair dye is amazing i've been using it for years it's one of the cheapest ones you can find it for about two to three dollars at target i always darkened my hair with the regular one that you find at the drugstore this luminista one which is meant to light in dark hair without bleach this one is amazing you cannot find this in drugstores at least i haven't been able to the only place i can find this is on target on their website they have a bunch of different colors if you want to go more red if you want to go more kind of like a burgundy color this, this is a really great option for lightening your hair at home without having it go really brassy and orange or just not getting the color you want if you like my hair <laughs> then i'd recommend this here's a kind of hair product in a way and it's a brow pencil i've been using tons of like or trying tons of brow products lately but this one is one that i found more recently and i'm just obsessed with it this is apparently a dupe for the um, anastasia brow wiz if you buy that this is supposed to be an exact dupe of that and it's about ten dollars at ulta plus you can use 350 off 10 if you go to ulta or your points if you built them up or whatever so awesome i use the shade what is it ash brown for my brows and it has a really tiny 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 little pencil which i think is really great a lot of drugstore i pencils are really thick and I feel like it, you can really go overboard with them it's kind of hard to work with this one's a perfect amount of like creamy but also like waxy it does have a spoolie which is amazing and it's covered too which is just the best it scrolls up so you don't have to sharpen anything and it's just amazing onto eyes this is a particular palette but I would recommend any eyeshadows from this brand pretty much and that is wet and wild of course what else could it be this is the walking on eggshells palette from wet and wild I've talked about this on my channel a bunch it's been in favorites videos mostly I love the top shade the white kind of highlight brow bone shade I use it for my brow bone I use it for highlight on my face it's just such a gorgeous shade it blends so nicely it's super pigmented all these shades are really nice I think if you're getting into makeup or you just love a natural look this is the only thing you really because it has all the shades you would need I think it costs like two bucks or something all these shades are super pigmented they blend really really nicely there's not really any fallout I think this is just like the most this is the best one that they make there's a lot of good foundations at the drugstore I do have my top five favorite foundation video if you want to check it out here all my ones I just really really adore but I thought you know what I am going to put a foundation in this video just because this is the one that I use every time I use it I absolutely love the way it looks it's super affordable I think that so many people do like it out of a lot of the reviews I saw this is the Maybelline Matte and Portless this shade is far too dark for me at the moment I did a full review on it if you want to check that out here a lot of you guys really enjoyed that review it's really great for oily skin but also doesn't dry you out if you have dry skin just gives you kind of like a dewy look but it's not dewy it's like like a very 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 natural matte finish and I just I don't know I just I think it's amazing and I think that if you haven't tried it yet definitely give it a go I have two more products to talk about one is a lip liner and one of them I is wearing I, I is wearing oh my god my grammar I have two lip products to talk about two like drugstore favorites and they're two different things one is the Rimmel what is it called Rimmel exaggerate full color lip liners I have four of these these are the best. The one I'm wearing right now is one of these and I think the colors they make of these are just gorgeous. They roll up, scroll up, twist up, they twist up. I am obsessed with this. My favorite color that I've been using like all year that I put in a couple of favorites videos is 18 Addiction which is a very neutral kind of Kylie Jenner type color. I also recently got the shade Rapture which is very kind of a dark wine, brownish wine color I really like as well. Also got Red Diva which is like a pure true bright red if you want that kind of classic red color. And then this month that I'm loving is this color that I'm wearing right now. This is a very dark almost like 90s color and this is the shade 45 epic Rimmel lip liners are fabulous they don't over dry my lips but they are matte you put them on over a bomb they really still last and the color is amazing last product is Maybelline again so that's two Maybelline things now and it's Maybelline baby lips you guys know I absolutely love baby lips I've tried like almost every single like 
fragrance or flavor or color or whatever it is that they've made for limited edition to the normal line. My favorite one from the normal line is the one in Grapevine, which is the blue packaging with the purple thing. This is the one I wear constantly. It just is amazing for touching up any kind of color like what I'm wearing right now. It smells like grape isn't my favorite. I would literally hate the smell of grape. If this was any other flavor, I would love it even more. It gives you the moisture that you want, but it also revives your lip color. I think it's really nice if you don't like touching up your makeup throughout the day like me. I literally hate touching my makeup up throughout the day. Those are my favorite kind of best of the drugstore beauty products, not just for this year, but like forever. I love this stuff. Maybe hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do like my drugstore type really related videos then please give this a thumbs up please make sure you subscribe so you can see more makeup or fashion or hair or whatever kind of videos you want to see from me but subscribe so you don't miss any of those and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye i'm gonna clear my throat <clears throat> mostly i just burped ew i don't even know what i'm saying anymore the texture the, the.